Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have two new showdown SPCs uh, to check out today. One is going to be for Kalasinach. Kalasinach or Itch? It's an Atch or Itch? Atch, okay. I think I pronounced it the right, right the first time. I remember him from his Arsenal days, that's why. Anyways, uh, this card looks pretty cool. It doesn't look too bad. It might be a similar situation to Ceballos, to be honest with you. Uh, five foot eleven, high high, right footed, three star skills, five star weak foot. Gonna be honest with you, uh, I prefer the weak foot over the skill moves when it comes to the midfielders. So that's a really good thing. Uh, player traits: He's got long shot, taker team player, early crosser, in game attributes. You are going to be giving this card a shadow chemistry style, just like you did to the Ceballos card. So let's take a look at the major differences here. So Carlos Soler. To be fair, they've actually been updating these uh, showdown cards to be at a more respectable level, which I feel like is going to be very important. Um, can't see the things yet because it's still the beginning. Uh, shooting will be in a decent area. Obviously, with improvements would definitely be very nice. His passing is in a fantastic area, so that's a huge W. Um, the good thing about a shadow chemistry style is that you have to remember that it's, I think it's a plus 15, right? Yeah, plus 15 for the sliding tackles part, which is uh, which definitely will be a very big deal. Just can't check it yet on his showdown card. Um, but yeah, dribbling we'll be experimenting with. As a midfielder, it looks like it's in a good area, to be honest. Uh, Carlos Soler is a person who has an average body type while working with those dribbling stats. Should be fine as a midfielder. Uh, we'll give him the shadow chemistry style. He won't be able to jump, but I won't really care uh, too much about something like that, to be honest with you. It's mainly going to be uh, whether or not he's a good... Uh, player that can push forward come back what's nice about this card is that he does have some good position switches right so he's got cdm uh center mid as well as the right mid position right mid position is always uh, a very key thing to work with so definitely very nice there uh we're gonna go ahead and unlock the sbc and i'll show you guys how we line them up okay so we actually uh had to get a few a few guys here so let me go ahead and pop a nice little shadow on him there we go and then a shadow on this bad boy here too. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, this will be perfect. So for Carlos Soler, um, 4321. Carlos Soler Payet. Um, Gary Lineker. Hmm. Do I have Vanderson on my team? It's going to be weird to take off Mbappe because Mbappe is a beast. But the reason why I want Vanderson is because he has defensive capabilities. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Uh, normally, I would switch this, right? So 4 3 2 1, Ayat, Ben Yedder, and Carlos Soler will be the attacking oriented player here. Which side is this on? Against the box. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that, and then we'll also have that 3 4 2 1 as well. So to dispossess your opponents. Now, can they make something happen? Oh. Man, I'm telling you, you really have to do the ball roll driven for that to work. Neymar. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. A weak foot pass there with him. Again, nice. Oh, I should have lob passed it. And options in the center. Soler. A wonderful intervention. Close. The involvement was nice, though. Giving it a try. Nice try, Solo. Nice try, nice try. Not too bad. Soler, Soler, Carlos Soler. Seco Fofana. Oh, it was close. I think that hit me last, too. Yeah, it did. Unlucky. Now nah, we're good. Well done, Carlos. Let's go, my boy. What can they do from here? Oh, nicely done. It's good to force a pass animation just for your player to at least reach for it, you know? Oh, his AI got to it. Unlucky. You know, with respect, because I'm pretty sure he did that himself. 
Nice job, Carlos. Applies enough pressure there. I needed that good. Tap shot. There you go. Let's go, Gary Lineker. No, Carlos. Hey, you can't even lie. Having that weak foot for that situation to make that pass is great. But guys, the Gary Lineker card, like if you're a fan of his in real life, for whatever reason, you know, you're doing the club team, uh, Carlos Soler with the defensive play again. Uh, I mean, he's scoring goals for me. He's getting involved. Oh, yeah. The, the touch has to be way better there for me to hit a consistency there. Carlos Soler again. Nice, Carlos catches it too. Nice. Good challenge. Oh, unlucky. Good pass initially, too. Nice pass with the weak, with, I was about to say the weak foot. Oh, Carlos Soler. Oh, please, EA. Oh. No way, man. Come on, EA. I don't know what else you want me to do. Thank you, Carlos. Tap shot. Yes, Gary. That's what we were looking for. The weak foot, like being a five star is like people don't understand. It's just for even just for the general build up. It's nice. Nice. Good strike, good strike. Oh, that touch, man. Nice, good placement. Good placement, my boy. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the Oh, he's offside. He's a good finish with the weak foot though. Oh, nice try. Nice try, nice try. Uh, his animation to shoot was so slow and it managed to be a chip shot. That's so funny. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Carlos Soler card. So, um, yeah, again, with storyline cards, it's always like super hard to judge these players until they actually get the upgrade if they do, because EA usually causes like a significant difference in these cards. Um, but it's, um, you know, you know what I liked the most about this card that I felt like was really, really nice to work with. It's that five star weak foot. So like for me, the five star weak foot was fantastic because listen, he has the base stuff, right? He's got the work rate at high, high. He's got a five star weak foot to work with. So if I play him on the left side or the or the right side, it won't really matter. Um, you know, as a as a midfielder, his dribbling is perfectly fine. You know, you can use cards like this uh, and Fofana in the midfield with a two dom. Like if you have the two dom card and you're using him as your right center mid, um, 
and then you have someone like Soler as your left center mid, it's a really cool combination to work with because he has that five-star weak foot. You don't really care too much about the skill moves in those types of scenarios. Like for me, um, obviously I like the Fofana card. I mentioned to you guys in the Totem review that he's fine. Um, so I enjoy using him a lot uh, with Carlos Soler because in this 3-4-2-1 playing that center mid position with both of them being high, high work rated, it's a good combination to work with because it's, it's cards that offer you defense and attack, right? Which obviously... Uh, will always be helpful to work with. Carlos Soler, with his high attacking work rates, would still sometimes actually get involved for me in the attack, which obviously is great to work with. But I do feel like for the meta of this game nowadays, people don't really often use attacking and defensive oriented card as a main attacker for the center mid. They just put an actual attacker for like that 4-3-2-1 or whatever it is. Um, can you play him in that position? Absolutely. You know, he's got the stamina for it. He's got the pace for it to be able to push forward, come back. But just like most of the other storyline cards, you do have to rely on a potential upgrade in the future, which to be fair, would look very nice on this card. Because let's say for instance, they were to give him a plus three or four for every single area of this card. While being a Spanish player that provides you PSG links, the links are nice to work with. Does EA put them up there in price in regards to them being storyline cards, which is why I don't like this promo personally? Yes, but obviously um, if the gamble ends up being worth it, if you guys end up completing this card and they do end up winning, it will be a really good card to work with for the meta of this game, right? Like he already has all the base stuff, I'm telling you, good passing stats with a five-star weak foot in a lot of attacking situations will be very helpful to work with. So um, the price is up there 100%. I agree with people on that. But if they end up winning, it's a solid card to use in the meta of this gameplay. So it's the same situation as like a Ceballos. Although I will say that I like that five-star weak foot. That five-star weak foot with the good passing stats, like it's nice for like the general buildup and stuff, you know? But um. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Main comparison is going to be the Ronaldo Sanchez, but obviously Ronaldo Sanchez is not a good comparison because he is an OTW card that is valued at 695k, which makes sense. He's still amazing. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.